Hello and welcome back to Kitchen Adventures with Naomi. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, I am your host, Naomi. Um, today we will be making a berry cobbler. Um, some friends suggested that I do a summery type of dessert. Um, and I wanted to try a berry cobbler. I didn't have fresh berries, um, so I used frozen. I tried to thaw them out, ran hot water, warm water, on them, let them sit in the strainer and try to drain that a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. But this is gonna be a keto recipe for those of us that can't or don't want the gluten and the regular sugars and all that kind of stuff. So here are the ingredients that I'll be using. Those are the ingredients, and I got this recipe from Pinterest, uh, but the Eat Well 101. Um, she has some pretty cool recipes on there, and I thought I would give this one a try. So what we're going to do is take my cast iron skillet. I mean, it, it's not really for baking like this, um, with little ridges in it, but, you know, it's be fine. Be fine, hopefully. Okay, so what we are going to do is take kind of watery. Um, take a pound of fresh berries. Like I said, I used frozen because I didn't have anything fresh, um, and they're thawed out. Ish. <laughs> so you're just gonna pour those into your pan. Yummy. Okay, um, so you pour those into the pan with a tablespoon of your sweetener, which, as we all know, if you've watched any of my videos, I use this monk fruit sweetener because I can have it and it's really good. Okay, so we do a tablespoon of sweetener in. I want to see what's going on. So you put a tablespoon of sweetener. Just sprinkling it right on the, the fruit. Save your two tablespoon because you're going to need it. So I'm not going to use it as my little mixing spoon like I like to do. And then just a pinch of salt. So I'm just taking a pinch of salt. Okay, so that might have been more like two, but it's fine. I need salt in my diet anyway. Okay, so then we mix it. It's gonna be kind of hard with these ridges. Okay. Oh well. Say that me. Okay. So you just kind of want to make sure you mix it all up in there. Hmm. I'm gonna chop these strawberries because they they are bigger bites than the berries are. That's just kind of weird. Also, this pan might be too big. It didn't specify what kind of pan. So this may be too big, but we'll try it anyway. I'm gonna try to spread it out so it's more even. No, I need to thaw some more. That's not very much at all. Okay. Give me two seconds and we'll thaw some more. Okay, we're back. We've got more berries in here. Um, I would definitely suggest using fresh, okay? Because one, you're gonna get a more accurate weight. So if it costs for a pound, you're gonna get more of a pound. Um, two, it won't be as watery. So 
there's that. Okay, so now we've got our fruit in our cast iron pan. We are now going to combine a beaten egg. my fingers don't want yucky tools. Okay, clean fingers. So this is supposed to be beaten. So we'll just beat it real quick. And then to this, we will add the softened butter, which I accidentally melted it a little bit, so it's it's thinking in the fridge, it's in time out. We have the fruit, the butter that's half melted. Don't do that. So we're gonna add this in with our egg. So we're making the crust. Okay. Oh, the oven's preheated to 375. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay. So there's that. So then you're gonna want your tablespoon that you saved. You got a tablespoon of sweetener and um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That looks like a teaspoon. Okay. So then you combine all that. So you get kind of this weird little mixture. It kind of looks like we're making cookies. Okay, then we add in our almond flour and coconut flour. So the almond flour, we have three quarters of a cup. And we have one cup of almond flour, or coconut flour, I'm sorry. One cup of coconut, three quarter cup of almond. And then you just mix it all up. You wanna make sure you mix it really, really well. It's gonna start forming a dough, okay? Crumbly, so I'm just going to keep mixing it. It is starting to stick together some. We're going to use my hands. I want to form it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice on top of my berries because I feel like that's just going to make it pop. So, let me get my little lemon juice. I don't have any lemons. I'm just using what I had in my kitchen already. So, take a little bit of lemon juice. Especially if it works out. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, for those of you who've been watching, how you like my hair? I got it chopped. <laughs> I'm 
but it's summertime in the desert. Okay, so then you just take your see, form of dough. Mm, spread the topping evenly on the top of the berries with your hands and press it down lightly. But that's not gonna happen. So, what we're gonna do, a little bit over the back. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have lemon juice. Mix it up. So the thing with um, the moisture, coconut flour um, is super absorbent. So, which is weird that it has one cup of that and three quarter cup of almond flour instead of reversed because it's uber absorbent. So maybe that's what she's thinking. It will help absorb some of the moisture from the fruit. So I'm going to just stick it here in a ball. Okay, it says spread evenly on top of the berry mixture with your hand and press it down lightly. I don't think that's gonna work, being honest. It's too crumbly. So, we are just going to, y'all, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna move my little bowl out of the way. So I'm just kind of crumbling it on top of the berries. And we're just going to do that and hope and pray that it works out. And we'll, we'll smush it a little bit, give it a little pat down. It's like being able to do it first. So I'm hurting it. Okay. Add a little extra. I feel like it's missing something, but I don't know what it is. Okay, well, we'll try it. So yeah, so that's all you do. And then you pop it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And yeah, until it stops like gold or brown. And you can serve it with ice cream, you can serve it with whipped cream, you can eat it as is. Um, but yeah, that's it. So come back and like, 20, 25 minutes and I'll show you the end results. Okay guys, so it's been about 24 minutes and my timer just went off on my cobbler, so let's check it. Ooh. Okay. So I'm gonna use two pot holders here because I know a cat's iron is kinda heavy and I don't wanna drop it. Ooh. Ooh, golden brown. Okay. So, I'm going to let this cool. I'm actually going to put it on a wire rack so that it cools faster. Um, because it is way too hot to eat right now. Um, so I am going to put it on a rack, let it cool a little bit, and then I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, it's time to test my cobbler. So I've let it cool off. It's not like super cool. So I'm only gonna take a little bite. So, okay. The crust is really crumbling, which is okay if it tastes good. Let's see. Glad I put the lemon in there, but the crust is kind of dry. Flavor's good. Maybe I'll add more butter or a little less coconut flour, but that's today's adventure in the kitchen. Um, berry cobbler keto style. I 
I've got the instructions in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and follow so you don't miss out on any other adventures in my kitchen. Thanks guys, have a great day.